hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you do not miss an upload from me so i just want to come on here briefly guys i'm sorry it is really hot in this room i don't know why i didn't bring the fan in here before i start recording but it's okay i'm not gonna be here long so just wanted to come on uh briefly um just to let you guys know that I did finally get the uh, uh, products on Etsy. I actually did it yesterday, uh, published it yesterday, put everything in. So if you want, if you guys want to go check that out, you can. Get me a little cocktail here, and um. I am actually getting ready to um, go downstairs and get ready to get some dinner started. Um, I was thinking about uh, some smothered potatoes. I actually took some pork chops out yesterday and I decided not to cook them. I just didn't feel like cooking. I don't feel like cooking today, but since I took them out, I have to cook. Um, so yeah, I was thinking about doing that with some smothered potatoes and probably some corn on the cob. I think I might have some corn on the cob in there. Uh, so, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to probably put them in a deep fryer. I was thinking about baking them. But it's like when you fry like chicken and pork chops, I don't like them reheated. I would have to like refry it because it does it just doesn't taste right no matter what you do to it. Maybe I'll throw some barbecue sauce on and put them in the oven. Kinda hot to have an oven on though, right? Uh, see this is why I don't cook in the summertime. It's too hot. You know, it's like everything you decide to do, you got to have a stove on. And it is too hot to be cooking. But I got to cook them. So, and plus, we got to have lunch for tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get ready and uh, go down and do that. And want to let you guys know also, uh, I have some glass on this floor. I broke something over here. I don't know what it is. I can't tell what it is, but it's a couple pieces of glass on this floor. But um, yeah. Um, what was I finna say? What was I about to say? I don't even know what I was finna say. Anyway, um, I want to tell you guys too. I am planning on doing. Uh, a part two to uh, my favorite movies. Um, I have to find my list. I don't know what I did with my list. I had them. You know, it may be in my phone. I think that may be still in my phone if I can't find the list. But yeah, I, I want to do that. And uh, those of you that have watched uh, all of my previous videos thank you guys for so much um but please subscribe also um i'm trying to get out there guys so help a sister out okay i i want to also do a q a so i want you guys to ask me questions okay put them in the comments um Go to my Facebook page. My Facebook is Michelle Dots Lindsay. Um, my, what is my Instagram? Oh my God, I don't even know my Instagram. My Instagram, I believe, is Ms. Lindsay. It's M Z L I N Z Y. I think. You know, guys, because I like never log out of Instagram. So I don't even know. That's messed up. 
And you know, I have a Twitter account too, but I haven't been on Twitter in about six or seven years. Yeah. Um, my husband is out in out here in the back working on a deck. He's building a deck and he has some music on. I hope the music is not loud where it's picking up the recording because I don't want to get copyrighted and I haven't even gotten my foot in the door yet with YouTube. But uh, yeah, so anyway, my husband is building a deck on our back, um, on our back. We just had just a regular porch. I mean, it was a decent sized porch, but uh, we have been talking about building a deck on our back, um, on our back. We just had just a regular porch. I mean, it was a decent sized porch, but uh, we have been talking about for the longest that, you know, we wanted a deck. So he's working on that. He's been working on that for maybe a month now. Uh, it's almost done. Um, all you really have to do now is just nail down or screw down the rest of the boards and put up the banister. Uh, and then um, the old part of the porch, my suggestion was just to do the whole thing. So what I thought he was going to do was do, do the whole thing at one time. But what he did was just extended the actual porch and then he's gonna uh, once he finished that he's gonna take the old wood up and uh the old wood from the porch and then replace it with the new wood because uh we still wanted to be able to go out you know we had the two dogs and the dogs need to go use the bathroom we'd be in the back a lot so once he finished with the deck part he's just gonna pull the other wood up one by one and uh do it that way i i thought it was simple just to take the long plank and just put it across you know but evidently i don't know what i'm talking about so i don't know but uh yeah it's almost done so i want to i wish um that i had the coins right now because i know it is about to be the end of the summer everything is about to go on sale and I want to give me a really, really nice um, wicker patio set. I love, love, love wicker furniture for outdoor. It's just so gorgeous to me. So I'm, I'm going to look, I'm going to shop around for that. So um, come next summer, I can set my stuff up and be out there just chilling with my cocktail, y'all, and my friends. And yeah, I want to do that. And um. Also, the grass part, we're going to pave it. Um, we actually had, the it was nice size yard, but <clears throat> when we got our first dog, she had started digging up the yard, even though we, you know, would spank her and tell her not to do it, and she dug it up anyway. And then we got the other dog, and so now our yard just have, big giant craters in them so it's full of uh boards uh to cover the holes uh so once he finished the deck we're gonna go out and do that part and just pave it and just have like a little probably a little strip of grass or whatever so we're going to uh finish getting the pavers and the sand and you know everything else that goes with that so uh i'm going to show you guys the pictures uh once it's finished or maybe just about finished i don't know if he's going to stain it this you know before it gets cold or uh just wait until like next spring or whatever when the weather start breaking you know but uh yeah so but anyway i'm going to show you the pictures once it's finished it may not have the stain on it yet when I show it, but I'm going to show you. And then in the pictures, you may see um, the actual yard where the boards are. So each one of those boards, there's holes. So the boards uh, are really big. So because the holes are big and deep when they dug and they, oh my God, God, they dig so fast. And it was like 
they will bury their bones back there and if they have a ham bone or a milk bone biscuit or something they will bury it and honey my yard was just a mess i was just like oh my god and also the back of the house because i have a frame house the paint is peeling so we actually got to get someone out here to do that um we were actually looking at uh having aluminum siding put on but the guy quoted me nineteen thousand dollars for the siding and the uh fascia and the soffits i was like okay can i just get your card and that was it so what i was thinking was just have somebody just like scrape all that old paint and just repaint and get some really nice um exterior paint and uh repaint it but i don't know who i can really get to do that um i mean i know some people that know people my husband know people that know people you know that may do that kind of stuff um and then the thing is how much they're going to charge so but uh anyway i'm gonna get down here and i'm gonna get dinner started okay guys welcome back so i am about to prepare dinner dinner oh my god dinner and i am going to be doing some um pork chops and smothered potatoes and corn on the cob so i actually have the corn on the cob on already go blue go outside go she knows she's not allowed in the kitchen while i'm cooking um so let me do this first hold on one second okay guys so i'm going to start off with um the potatoes it's my microphone right here so if you guys see it so you know what i have a um uh, a, a remote for my camera this is the remote here and the remote is no longer working so when i turn it on um it's supposed to blink a couple of times and then turn the blink is supposed to stop which means that the remote is on and that i can actually hit the button for the camera but um it's not working it's just constantly blinking so i'm gonna have to continue to do this you know but anyway i'm starting off with potatoes i have my freshly washed potatoes um i have three of them i think i'm only gonna do two since there's only the two of us here and leftovers we're not going to be doing like that okay so going to heat my pan up i have a little oil in the pan already so how i normally do my potatoes is um i fry them a little bit um just enough to get that brown crusty on it you know that brownish color that like that caramelized color onions i gotta get some onions hold on okay guys so i got my onions so what i'm gonna do like i've already washed my potatoes and i'm going to uh pull this up just a tad bit okay and what i'm going to do i'm going to cut them in uh circles so i'm making smothered potatoes uh, unless I have three potatoes here, I think I'm just going to do two. So, guys, there's music on in my garage. I hope you guys can't hear that in the video. Because um, I don't want to have to redo this video because of copyright strike i don't want a copyright strike and i'm not even out here yet on youtube that would not be a good start for me so um uh -oh. yeah so like i said what i know I, I fry the potatoes first just enough to get that uh 
when you peel the onion run it under some cold water okay and that would help with the uh, the fumes that come out to actually make you tear up okay um, and I learned that from watching the Brady Bunch years and years ago I was watching the Brady Bunch and Alice was in the kitchen looking at soap operas and cooking and cutting onions right and so Florence came and I like Alice I told you to run the onion under cold water because I'm thinking she crying for the show she was watching but she was crying because of the onion but yeah it works guys so try that when you peel it run it on some cold water and then cut it up okay but you got to can be quick about it so but if you um need to run under, under the water again then you can do that okay so i'm going to rinse off my potatoes peel my onion and then i will come back to you guys once that is done okay i hate that i don't have a remote okay i'll be right back okay guys so i am rinsing the potatoes now i'm gonna turn the camera this way so you can see just got them in a the strong oh god you can't see this uh lord you can't see you can't see okay this is not cool anyway rinse the potatoes i'm gonna let them drain for a minute and i have my onion here that i peeled already and i'm just going to run under some cold water Just enough to get the fumes off of it. Long enough for me to cut it. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna cut my onion up, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna cut up my onion. Uh, I already rinsed it. And I'm just gonna cut a few pieces off. Just enough to put in with the potatoes. Not going to be a lot because I don't want it overpowering. Okay, so I got those rings. Then I'm going to cut these rings in half. And then in half again. Okay, and that should be enough onions. So my onions are done. So my potatoes are uh, draining. I had to take the oil off because I didn't want it to burn. So I'm going to throw that back on the stove. Let me turn this around so you can see. Turn that, put that back on the stove. Let that heat up a little bit more while the potatoes are draining. Okay, guys. So um, my potatoes are drained enough. And I am... Is this big enough? This is not big enough. I need a bowl because I'm going to season them now. And I'm going to mix the seeds, the potatoes in a bowl with the seasoning instead of doing it in the um, in the pan. Okay, so I got my bowl here. Y'all need a better camera because this is horrible. I want you guys to see. Okay, got so my potatoes in there. And I'm going to season them with some pepper, some ground pepper. Okay. I'm going to use some garlic powder. Okay. I'm going to use some onion powder. Onion powder. And I know I have onions in there and I'm using onion powder. It's okay. This is, is this stuff? Just about this. Okay. Okay, just a little bit. I got some Montreal steak season. I'm not going to put any salt on it. I'm just going to use this. Give it a little different flavor. Okay. No salt. And I'm going to use some parsley flakes just a little bit and I usually just open it up and just pull out a pinch a couple of pinches I should say okay then I'm going to mix that around mm -mm. losing the potatoes guys mix that around and there's still a slight bit of water on the potatoes so it's okay um, 
because it'll kind of mix with the seasoning you know it won't be as much as you would think it is okay so i'm going to now put them in the skillet okay and so I'm just gonna cook them long enough to get the brownness on them like the caramelized potatoes. That's it, just enough of that. Okay. So this one has a little bit too much seasoning on it, so what I'm gonna do take a potato and do this. So that one piece don't be too much. Okay. Alrighty. And I'm gonna let that brown. And while that's browning, make sure my fire's not too high. While that's browning, um, we're going to work on the chops. So I am going to, where's my, I think I'm gonna use the same thing for the chops. I'm not gonna put any salt on it. Um, I have my deep fry heating up. I put it on low because, uh oh, it's gonna be a minute. So let's go up into the sink. I'm sorry guys, trying to move the camera. And my core get caught. Okay, guys, this cord is like really too long now. I'm gonna have to wrap it around something. Okay, so back over at the sink. Got my seasonings here. I'm gonna use the same seasonings. Okay. Outside blue. Now the thing is, you're not gonna be able to really see this part because um make sure I rinse my sink out because I'm gonna put my meat in here Get some hot water going clean sink guys clean sink okay now I'm gonna wash my meat Got the water back cold. And I like to rinse the bags out um, because it'll be blood in it and I don't want it smelling up the house. And if there's any excess fat on your meat, guys, go ahead and remove that. So I do have some excess fat that I am going to remove. Let me grab my knife. Y'all, this is like my favorite knife. I use this knife for everything. And I say everything, I mean everything. So I'm just cutting the excess fat off. Um, I know meat is supposed to have some fat, but I, I get as much off as I can. Cause um, if you ever have fried fat, it don't taste good. Okay. And these are really not a good batch of chops either. Not, not as best as I would like them. Okay, so now the fat is off. Let this sit for a minute, okay? And you know what? Um, I'm going to actually do this at the sink, I think. I think that'll be better go to the sink. But let me check my potatoes. So 
So I don't put my onions in until almost last because I don't want the onions like burnt. You know, they cook too long, they burn up. What they call caramelized, but I don't want them like that. So the potatoes are actually starting to brown the way that I want them. They're gonna take a little bit because I want majority of them brown, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the meat actually over here. It'll be better if you guys see me do the meat over here. Um, better view, okay? So I'm gonna prep this area and then I'll get right back to you. Okay guys, so I got my meat here. Um, getting ready to season that up. Hope you can see. Rule of thumb guys, when you um, clean your meat before you season it, make sure that the meat is dry. The season sticks better when it's dry and then it have more flavor, okay? So pat it dry on both sides. Okay, y'all remember that. Okay, let me stir these potatoes here. Potatoes looking good, y'all. I'm gonna show you in just a sec, okay? Now, uh, so my meat is dry. And I'm going to season it with the same thing that I did the potatoes with, just not as much. Um, the potatoes I didn't mind that much because I'm going to put some water in it. So, a uh, little garlic. Okay. A little onion. Oh. Y'all, see what I did? I took the top off in this, so I need to go rinse this off. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got to change the paper towels now. Give me a second. Okay. I definitely don't want that on here. Okay, old paper towel. Put that to the side. Okay, guys, let me dry this off. Put these potatoes. Okay, so I dried that one off. Let me go back to my garlic. So I'm going to do this and I'll get back to you guys in a sec. I'm going to season the other side now. Um, the camera cut off so I don't know if you got me seasoning the first. As a matter of fact, you know what? I don't know if you did. So let me just do this. How about that? A little garlic. A little onion. A little black pepper. Okay, a little steak seasoning. A little parsley. Let's stir my potato because I don't want my potatoes burnt. Oh yeah, that potatoes looking good over here. So, I'm going to pat this on, okay, and let me show you what these potatoes look like and turn the camera around so we can see the potatoes. See how brown they're getting? Okay, give it a few more minutes, okay, so while all that's 
cooking um, I am going to come back to you guys uh oh I'll do the same thing with the adapter okay I'm gonna come back to you guys uh, in a few minutes um, when I come back I'm going to have the the uh, chops uh, floured up I'm gonna clean my mess up here and uh, get ready to finish off the potatoes and I'll be back okay guys I'm back so I'm gonna put these onions in the uh, potatoes now and move back back okay I'm gonna put the onions in the potatoes let that cook just a little bit I'm gonna put a tad, just a tad bit more grease in here, just enough to cook the onions. Bless it, because I don't want them burnt. Okay. Okay, let me grab my top over here because I am about to add the water in my potatoes. guys look at these potatoes See that nice and brown they're getting okay so that is actually going to be um, brown enough right now I'm going to add a little bit of water just a little bit and let the steam finish cooking it and that's how I do my smother potatoes turn it down just a little bit Okay, so now I'm going to get started on these chops. I'm going to season it. Got my flour here. So guys, we keep our flour in the freezer um, because, uh, you know, it has seasoning in it. And sometimes you may have like little food particles in it. And you don't want it like sitting on the shelf and going baby one with that smell is and never find it until you get ready to use your flour again and no I do not season my flour reason is because the flour is technically already seasoned when you put your meat in there and some of the seasoning falls off you have plenty of seasoning in your flour already so no I do not uh, just season my flour just I know a lot of people do there's nothing wrong with that it's just that I don't like I said, the seasoning is going to fall off, so you're going to have plenty in there anyway. And you're using your flour for chicken chops, whatever you're using it for. You have uh, actually a lot of different seasonings in here. So, yeah. You know, and I was thinking about making some gravy. I don't know. Maybe not. Gravy is kind of tedious to do. Okay, so my chops are seasoned and floured. Put that to the side. Okay, guys, so my chops and my potatoes are now done. And let me show you what these chops look like. Um, hold on one second. Look at these chops, guys. Okay, and then look at the potatoes. Okay. Then I got my corn on the cob in this pot here. Okay. So that is dinner for today.